Hi, this is How to Get Your Shit Together with me, Sue Wright. Today, we're going to talk about perfection. Now, I am very guilty of liking everything perfect. I feel a need that everything should be perfect before I put it out there in the world. However, I know from doing all the work I've done getting my shit together that my vision of perfect isn't necessarily a client's vision of perfect. Or, to be perfectly honest, they couldn't give a crap whether it's perfect or not, as long as it is useful and helpful and value for money for them and helps them pursue what they need to pursue. So this morning I was getting my new journal to go and do some stuff outside with the, with the animals because I don't know what it is. Whenever I'm outside, I get these amazing ideas and then because I have a memory like a jellyfish, I forget so I bought myself a journal to take outside and in my excitement to take the wrapping of it, I ripped the damn thing. And I was looking at it thinking, oh, you, but you were so nice and you were so pretty and you've got the elastic band thing that goes around and holds it shut. And then I thought, actually, do you know what? It doesn't matter that I've had to stick a sock, socking great bit of tape on the front of it because it doesn't matter if the book isn't perfect. The fact is that it's the stuff that I write inside. And even that doesn't have to be perfect. If you saw my handwriting on some of the stuff I've written in there already today, you know, it's messy. There's the odd thumbprint with, I dread to think what I had my hands in before I touched the the, the page. But, you know, I was outside with the horses. It could be anything. So we need to stop that quest for perfection. Because that quest for perfection and that constant need to have everything perfect before you put it out in the world, or, you know, with me, with my courses and my writing and my podcasts, um, I had to stop trying to be perfect. Because when I'm recording these, I'm not scripted. I haven't got anything written down in front of me other than a general kind of title. Um, And the title for this one is Doesn't Have to Be Perfect. Because I'm human. And you may get fed up with me umming and ahhing and spluttering my words now and again, but I'm human and hopefully that hu- that that feeling of being kind of just one of you guys and not talking like I've got my head up my ass is something that encourages you to keep listening and that you learn from it. So trying to get out of that habit of everything having to be perfect before you put it out in the world, that work that has to be 100% perfect for you, that might not be perfect for the person you're presenting it to. Or they may be just so keen to receive your words of wisdom, whatever they may be, that they they couldn't care less about the, um, the, the typing error on page three or whatever. You know, the perfection doesn't exist. My perfect isn't your perfect. Yeah. So trying to get out of that habit that everything has to be done 100% crystal clear, perfect, beautifully done and presented is a good thing to help you get your shit together. Because when I've tried to wait until everything is right, all of my docs are in a row, nothing gets done. So I haven't put courses out, I haven't put podcasts out, I haven't done this because I thought I needed to have everything right, everything ready. I needed to have X number of podcasts recorded before I started. I needed to have all the bits of the courses together before I presented them out on my on my storefront. Or in actual fact, I put out the very best I can. And then if I need to update it, I update it. It doesn't matter. The people have access to my courses all the time. You know, it's a kind of lifelong thing. So if it's not perfect, if I find that there's something that people misinterpret several times, if several different people don't, you know, get what I was trying to get across the first time, I pull it off the off the internet and I reword it and put it back again. So my version of perfect and your version of perfect are probably two different things. So aiming for that perfection aiming for everything to be just right, it's never going to happen apart from for me or for you. Does that make sense? So trying to get out of the habit of being a perfectionist, waiting for everything to be absolutely perfect everywhere before you can move on, you're going to be waiting forever because nothing is ever going to be perfect. Something somewhere is going to 
go a little bit pear-shaped. And if you keep waiting to take that next step for everything to be right, you're going to be waiting an awful long time. Take it from somebody who knows. So that's about my work, but it's it's things like, you know, the project I'm, I'm, I'm working on at the minute. My perfection is my own place. And, you know, I realize that that's not going to happen very soon. So I have to accept that things aren't going to be perfect and start with what I've got. Do the very best I can with what I have here and now. And that's something that I need to keep repeating is I have to do the very best I can with what I have here and now at this precise moment. Because, like I say, you know, waiting for the ideal opportunities, you could be waiting a long time. Making the ideal opportunity happen, you have to do things that are a little bit of a compromise. So I need to compromise on something quite big. It's not comfortable for me because I've had this vision for such a long time. But that said, I'm just going to have to go for it because it's the next step. The compromise you make could be the next step towards your, I'm going to say your ideal, your perfection. It could be the next step and I have to accept it and enjoy it. That's the key thing. Accept where I am, enjoy it, be grateful for it and still have in mind that I'm working towards something else. And I can honestly tell you that my ideal and my perfection changes all the time. (laughs) So trying to wait for everything to be just right, honestly, I'd be here for it. Well, I would be here for my lifetime because stuff changes, life changes. So try not to um, expect everything to be perfect. And the same goes for looking for perfection in other people. Cut everybody some slack. They may have done the very best they could with the very best of what they had. So just because it doesn't come up to the standard you want, Don't belittle them for it, okay? Be nice. They have tried their hardest. And as long as somebody has tried the hardest for you, that's all you can ever ask, okay? So on that perfect little note, I will bid you farewell.